So Ryan Mountcastle, we don't often think about defense with him now because he's a first baseman DH and he still can impact games at first base and he has with some nice plays there at times. Ryan Mountcastle with an all out effort to stare it at first. But I think back to where it all began for him. He was drafted as a shortstop out of a Florida high school. And if you look at his uh, minor league career, 2015 and 16, he was mostly a shortstop. 2017, he was a shortstop with some third base. 2018, he was mostly third base. Back counting in a hop is Mount Castle, a throw to first in time. The sidearm heave, what a nice play by Ryan there. 2019, some left field started to be worked in. Mount Castle back, warning track leaping up. He makes the catch up against the outfield fence. So this kid was all over the diamond as the Orioles were trying to find him a position. But what struck me about Mountcastle through all that is a couple things. He continued to hit. Never let all the shuffling and all the questions about his defense impact his offense. And a high school draft pick, sometimes his stats are modest when they're in Delmarva or high A, and then they start to tick up. And that is exactly what he did. 806 OPS at age 21 at Bowie. 871 at age 22 at Triple A. Pitch home, swinging a high fly ball, drilled long and deep to right center field. That ball is gone. And Ryan Mountcastle wins it. 33 home runs in the major leagues, the rookie of the year candidate. Right now he's bearing down on Cal Ripken Jr. for the single season rookie home run record in the long and glorious history of the Baltimore Orioles. And this kid has a smile. We see it all the time. He has a great outlook and he never got flustered by constant questions about his defense because I can remember interviewing him in 15, 16, 17, 18. And what's the first thing people ask him about in every interview? How's it working out at short? How's it working out at third? Are you throwing better? Do you think you'll be able to play infield of the majors? But there was legitimate question and concern. It was legitimate to ask. And so I think he handled it beautifully. How many different gloves are you going to bring to spring training with you? Um, I mean, I got my third base glove, and that's, that's what I'm using right now. So, uh, I mean, whatever they want to do with me, I want to play third base and think I can produce there. That told us something then about the makeup of Ryan Mountcastle. Because again, he could have said, you guys ever gonna ask me anything else but that? He never once did at any time I was around him. He's worked hard at his defense. He always has. You know, playing all the new different positions, left field first, third base, took some extra reps over there. And, and now he's found a home where he can be adequate and maybe on a given night, he'll make some plus plays that'll help you win. But the bat will play as we see. Left field, deep, and gone! He scales Mount Baltimore. It's great to see these kids on the farm. You know them when, and then you come up and see them do what they're doing now, and they're realizing their dream, and now they're contributing to Oriole wins and all, so it's kind of special to see.